everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley. I'm the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find our website at journalisttoolbox.org or at spj.org where the website's housed. Uh, we have training videos here, which where you're watching one, and also a newsletter out here uh, that you can subscribe to. Uh, and we have a very robust data journalism section right in the middle of the page. What we're going to talk about today is Tableau Public. This is the second of two videos about how to build a dashboard with COVID-19 data in Tableau Public. Uh, so we have a handout here uh, on tab, uh, Tableau Public, uh, http colon slash slash bit.ly bit slash mrtableau. If you open up this up, uh, it shows you how to download Tableau uh, and how in our previous video exercise, this is a second uh, of our exercises, uh, how to build out the COVID data uh, using this data from New Jersey where we download it um, and then walk you through all of the steps as does the video on how to build out uh, the four little graphics uh, that appear in your dashboard. Um, what we're going to do in this video is add a filter which is down at the very bottom of your video, adding a filter. Um, this video uh, here will walk you through it. Um, so go to Tableau Public and find your dashboard. It's right here in Tableau Desktop. Uh, and to start the filtering process, just double click on one of the graphics. And you'll see up here that a pull down menu uh, uh, is highlighted here. You couldn't see it before until you double click on it. Uh, and this allows you to add filters. Okay, this is a show cards button. Select the filter, and we're going to filter by county. So every time I hit the filter button, it's going to filter out by county and select which county I want to filter. So I selected that from the pull down menu, and we can see here it says county and has all of them selected. Um, uh, which is, is fine here. Um, I, I can take this and drag it up uh, uh, on the menu and see if I can drop it in above my dashboard here. I can put it up here at the very top. It looks a little funny right now because it's got all the check marks, but I can do that. I can also probably work it into the rail here right uh, above county um, so I could uh, you know, drag it again and move it around. You can just kind of figure out where you want to place it on the page. Um, and uh, there I'm going to drop it right under the header. It's a pretty good place for it. Um, so uh, I've got to decide now what I want to do uh, with this menu. I've got all of these selected, um, but if I want to uncheck one and only select, uh, you know, Atlantic or whatever, I can, I can, I can do so. So I've got this big menu up here. It's kind of squished all my graphics. Um, you can uh, adjust that uh, by going in here to the pull down menu where it says more options uh, and decide uh, what your format wants to be with this. Single value drop down, a slider, custom list, uh, wildcard match. There's all kinds of uh, funky little settings you can do with this. I'm going to do a single value uh, drop down. Um, so I'm going to do it as a drop-down menu. Now you see it closes it up and my graphics are back to normal. The pull-down menu is really a good way to go with this, whether you put it in the rail, you know, you can even put it down here at the bottom. Or I always like my pull-down menu right across the top, right under the headline. It's a good place. You can also drop it here right above county. Um, so now I've got the pull-down menu. Uh, and if I do the pull-down, it'll only do it off this first graphic. Um, so I want to take this and apply it to everything. So I hit more options under here and go to apply to worksheets. And uh, it gives me some uh, options here, selected worksheets or all using this data source. Um, hit selected worksheets. And you'll see the one that you worked off of originally, cases by county is selected. Check the other three, hit okay. And now it'll work with whatever setting you put on it. If I want to see only Bergen, I can select it, and it shows me only Bergen here. If I want to see only Hudson, there's only Hudson, and then back to all. So there we go. Um, there's our there's our uh, filter, and that's how you add one in. Uh, and then you just repeat your steps uh, to go through uh, and uh, filter it um, or to export it, uh, and you're good to go. 
Um, uh, you can change the titles on these as well in the pull down menu. Uh, it's got a edit title feature. Um, where it just says county there, it might not be enough information. I'm gonna add in search by county um, and I'm gonna highlight it uh, and I'm gonna make it blue just so it pops a little bit or you know, you could do a, a red or something like that. Um, I just like to make it pop, uh, maybe increase the font just a little bit, take it up to about 11 point. Um, Tableau Medium is a, a good default font. There are many other fonts you can use there. Uh, and there you have uh, a little custom headline. So that's how you add a filter in the COVID-19 dashboard uh, in uh, Tableau Public. Uh, it's a good feature. Um, uh, it really uh, helps customize uh, the graphic and, and you could do some really cool stuff with it. Um, so that's all we had for now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. There are many others uh, that you can find at journalisttoolbox.org.